In a landmark development, the Ethiopian parliament has approved senior diplomat Sally Wurke Zawad as the country's first female president on Thursday. This cements another shift in the country's political system from Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. Sally Wurke is currently UN Under Secretary General and Special Representative of the Secretary General to the African Union. The president's post is a ceremonial one in Ethiopia. The Prime Minister, who is the head of state, holds executive power. In another significant move, the Prime Minister last week appointed 10 female ministers, making Ethiopia the third country in Africa after Rwanda and Seychelles to achieve gender parity in their cabinets. Salih Wurke becomes the fourth president since the ruling Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front coalition came to power. She replaces Muletu Teshome Wirtu, who tendered his resignation to parliament earlier on Wednesday. Well, now for more on the significance of the appointment of a female president in Ethiopia, I'm joined by viewers Salem Solomon. Welcome, Salem. Thanks for having me. We did mention that this is a, a largely a, a ceremonial position, but why is it a big deal? Why, why is it that significant? It's a big deal because, you know, Ethiopia is on a track of some sort of re reform, and we saw half of the cabinet of the Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed, uh, with women, uh, uh, occupying 20 people, but 10 of them women. And also, you know, we're looking at, even if it's a ceremonial position, presidential uh, presidents in Ethiopia usually uh, are, uh, with the uh, approvement of, of the prime minister, they appoint uh, ambassadors, uh, they receive delegations. It's more a ceremonial for that reason. But it's also symbolic because it's, it, it signifies, in a country like a patriarchy like Ethiopia, that women play a big role in higher places. So th it, it shows that it has symb symbolic. Yeah. Uh, Indeed, after this appointment, uh, the, minister, the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, uh, Fitsum Areke, tweeted uh, uh, as follows. He said, in a patriarchal, a patriarchal society such as ours, uh, the appointment of a female head of state not only sets the standard for the future, but also normalizes women as decision makers in public life. So in a way, it can this be seen as a, a positive influence, not only in terms of a parity within a cabinet, but also other sectors, whether private or government uh, within Ethiopia. That's true. And also, like, you know, if you look at the parliament of Ethiopia, 37% are now women, which is way more than the portion of uh, women in US Congress here in the US. And so it's very prominent and it's a big deal because of this. But let's not think and forget that Ethiopia also um, suffers a lot of gender-based um, issues, as you said, patriarchy, or as the spokesperson said, patriarchy. So if you look at the serious issues that Ethiopia has, they have child marriage issues where young girls are married off at a young age. They have a high level of uh, female genital mutilation. They have gender-based issues that still needs to be addressed. And having these women in high places to make decisions, I think hopefully maybe we'll have yet to see, uh, make a dent in this uh, progress. And surveys show that when women are participating in higher levels, progress uh, is eminent. And one hopes uh, that that is going to be the case because we have had uh, some negative reports from countries like uh, Uganda, where they say that despite having uh, you know, 50 50 percent uh, uh, in parliament and perhaps even in cabinet, a large number of women. Still, the p conditions of women at the local level, at the grassroots level, remains about the same because there's a question of the system. The system is still patriarchal, and uh, also, uh, some, sometimes women have been accused that sometimes, even when they got into these positions, they did not necessarily fight to change the uh, state of women at the mm. grassroots level. So they become the functionaries of the existing system. So this is a very good question to ask about, like, you know, is this a token position that is given to these women? But look at the background of at least even the cabinet members that uh, Abiy Ahmed has uh, picked. Most of them are PhD holders. They have a t proven track record of, uh, of government uh, positions. Some of them come from ministerial positions. So these are uh, government position holding, even some of them engineers, mm -hmm. uh, tested, uh, proven track record. So we have to see. I mean, this is just a new reform that mm -hmm. we're seeing. We have to see what this means for the average person, young girl and woman mm -hmm. in Ethiopia. 
but these women that are being picked, it seems like it's with substance. Let's so. talk a little bit about uh, President Saleh Wok. Uh, she is not just some woman. Uh, I mean, any woman is a woman of substance, but there's something a little more about her. Yes. Uh, what can you tell us? Well, Sahala Work uh, is a fluent French speaker. She went to Lycée. Uh, it's a French, uh, uh, you know, French government-funded universe. I mean, uh, uh, school in Ethiopia. She studied in France, and in fact, one of her first positions was to be an ambassador in Djibouti. And she hesitated because it's a Muslim-dominated country. She wasn't sure how she was going to perform uh, as a woman, but she went for it. And since then, she's represented Francophone African countries, Mali, Senegal, uh, West Africa, and beyond. And she has. And just recently, she was appointed by the UN to be a new, newly uh, created position in Nairobi, to be a representative, an ambassador in Nairobi. And so she is a career diplomat. And I think at some point, she's also about peace and reconciliation. At some point, they asked her what she's passionate about, and she said, public service. Yeah, and sometimes it's said that a good leader surrounds themselves with the good people who can offer uh, useful advice and uh, you know some of this perhaps could come from the president in the case of uh, uh, the advice that the Prime Minister Abi needs. We'll and, have to yeah, peel our eyes yeah. and uh, see uh, you know hold Our them words. accountable as yeah, we go. Definitely, we we'll look right. forward. Thank you very much uh, Thank for, you for having uh, me. joining us today.